Yo, what's going on guys? It is Junimus here today, and today I'm going to be showing you how to transform this ravine, as you can see right in front of me, into the one you see right now. But before we get on into the transformation, if you guys want to see more content like this on the channel, me transforming different stuff, so it could be a ravine, could be like a witch, or could be a desert temple, whatever it is, make sure you are subscribed and you hit that like button down below and turn on notification if you haven't already. But anyway, let's get on to the transformation. The first step that I'm going to do is I'm basically going to go around the entire ravine here, going from one end to the other on the side of where I want like different houses to be because I'm going to add like a little house, I'm going to make like a little village inside the ravine and then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to make down here a bit like of a mining thing so I'm going to add a lot of mining stuff so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around add where I want all the houses to be once I've done that I'll be back here in just a second what I've done is I've gone round and I've added where all the spruce are, that's where I want houses to be, so I've got like one, two, three, four, five up here, six, I've got an entrance here, there's going to be an entrance to the ravine and obviously the village inside the ravine, I've got some down here, one, two, three, four, I've only got four down here and then obviously down here I'm going to add more like mine and stuff, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go round and add like platforms so you obviously can walk around the entire like area, so I'll catch up once I've done that. This is what we've got so far, okay? What I'm gonna have here is this is gonna be the ravine entrance here. You come down here, walk obviously into this like little bit of a cave system. Suddenly you come into here, you're gonna have a house there, maybe something there. You've got like this little bridge here, connecting it up. Then this is gonna lead around to more houses going around, one up there, one down here. This is going through a, like a natural cave, coming down here. And we're going to have this here, we're going to have like rocks here, but it's going to be the kind of open so you can see over into the ravine itself. Come around here, keep coming down, obviously once you get down to here, we're going to have maybe another few more houses down here. One, another bridge here, two more houses over there. And then that's what we've got so far, so that's the path that you should just put in place. What I'm going to do now is off camera, I'm going to go around and add all like the little bits of detailing. So it could be like adding like on the side to the stone, it could be just adding like a little bit to, to the houses. I'm not actually going to decorate the houses, I'm just going to obviously just do like the in, just like the outside and make it look a bit more prettier. And then I'm going to add like a lot of like leaf, leafage, like a, some like mines and stuff down here, make it look all pretty. So I'm going to do that off camera, so I'll catch you in just a second. I've gone through and I've added a lot of decoration. This is obviously going right from the top layer here, all the way down to the bottom there. As we can see, I made a bit of a foggy effect down there and I'm really, really liking that. But what we've got is obviously you're gonna come through here, come through a lot of like greenery, come to like a little bit of like, you can see a little bit of like a waterfall there. Come further around, obviously you've got a light up, like I've still got to do a bit of lighting. So you're going to around there, come right down here. Again, you see a little mine cart going across with a waterfall down there. I've got obviously got a little bit more detail around here, but I'm gonna do that again in a bit. Come further down, and this obviously comes down to the section. Again, lighting in there. Leads down to here, and then obviously fog effect down there, more rails and stuff. But this is what we've got so far, and I'm really, really pleased with like from how we've got from this now to how it looked before, where it was probably about maybe this wide here. But what I am going to do now is pretty much the last step of transforming this ravine is just adding the features up here. So obviously I'm going to do that off camera, and I'll be back here once I've done that. And this is what the ravine looks like from the outside. What we've got here is we've got a crane that's maybe pulling the ores up and down the ravine. We've got stacks of ores dotted around, iron, gold, coal, obviously leaves dotted around the area as well, as well as some stones. We've got a waterfall down there and that's coming from that pond up there. And we've obviously got another pond here, we've got another waterfall on this side of the ravine. We've got these small, medium and large spruce trees dotted around the area. Definitely obviously add a bit more woodland feel to it. And what we've got here is around the edge of the ravine is some wall slabs and lanterns just to maybe lighten it up and stop people from maybe falling in. But what I'm going to do now is we're going to do a big cinematic of me going through all of this, okay? So enjoy. So 